Kimetsu no Yeba is an anime about people in fancy kimono killing demons. In the main cast we got Tanjiro, a nice guy who does nice things, especially if you're a pretty girl. He's a fair and sensible boy, who always gets the job done with demons, unless that demon belongs to his family. Nezuko, she's Tanjiro's younger sister and became a demon after being attacked by Michael Jefferson, just like Macaulay Culkin. She's cute, small, underage, wears a gag, and needs to be protected even from sunlight, the most obvious p-bait ever made. Zenitsu, he's Akira's younger brother, known for screaming as much as Asta and for being the inspiration for creating the word simp. He ended up like that cuz he used to chew batteries as he a child, and practice kiss skills with electrical outlets as a preteen. Inosuke, an anti-vegan activist, one of the most insanely radical I've ever seen. He loves sport hunting, mainly animals close to extinction. And Michael Jefferson, an American singer who almost abandoned his music career to become a Catholic priest for reasons I'm not allowed to say here. A few years ago he became a demon vampire in Japan, that's why he hasn't had many jobs in the media recently. The episode begins with Inosuke kicking Zenitsu because he said he never ate Australian hippo meat, and he screams not having hippos in Australia is a lame excuse. The camera focuses on Tanjiro's almost red, almost purple eyes, what beautiful eyes by the way. He doesn't let go of the box cause there's an electric car engine inside. Inosuke threatens to plug his iPhone's charger into Zenitsu's ass. Tanjiro finally decides to intervene in the fight, even if he sends sand in the children's eyes. Ha ha send sand. The opening begins, it's snowing and in black and white, then Tanjiro's red eyes pop up, a clear reference to Icelandic submarines. Kinda looks like he's punching the camera lens. Imagine your fantastic power being red arrows. Returning to the anime. Tanjiro punches Inosuke almost making him throw up his own stomach. We even have a Mortal Kombat style animation where Inosuke breaks the pancreas. The main character is pissed off and gives a motivational speech. Meanwhile Inosuke takes a nap. I'd also try to get some rest after my liver changed places with my larynx. What the hell, the guy chooses a cross-eyed boar head as a helmet. Inosuke goes up against Tanjiro, who dodges all attacks. Oh wait, my mistake, they must be just dancing. I mean, what's the purpose of this move? Tire up the opponent's shoulders? Inosuke slide tackles Tanjiro which makes the camera lose focus. Suddenly, Tanjiro is assaulted by the invisible girl, aka Toru Hagakuri from My Hero Academia. Zenitsu is still sad, just being hit by a taser can cheer him up. Okay, I admit that one is cool, but it wouldn't have been more useful to break his neck once and for all. It's like the saying goes, a rib for a neck. Oh god Tanjiro, you were fighting so well. But Boarhead changes the direction of his attack cause according to him, he's too straight to touch another man's balls. F*** off invisible girl, let them have a one-on-one -on -one fight. So Tanjiro sees him as a wild boar, something derogatory to Inosuke. For him boars are like overpriced sh just trophies to show off. He revenges with a sick kick, but why does he even use the soul instead of the heel? The math doesn't make sense to me. Then he goes on to verbal attacks, saying that no matter how much Tanjiro work out, he'll never have sexy four-pack abs. He's snorting a substance made by blend water and cell phone battery. Children even cry for the junkie. What a beautiful waste of Nosuke. Oh, is this scene? I didn't even know. He runs towards Tanjiro imitating Naruto. To end this conflict, Tanjiro headbutts Inosuke's head. Maybe it isn't too smart since only one of them is wearing a helmet. It's the thought that counts. His mask fell. No sir. When will you sir understand you cannot enter my store without a mask? Everyone's impressed by Inosuke's beautiful and feminine face. Yeah, they don't know Shinobu yet. And I mean Shinobu for real. Zanita who runs away and protects himself by hugging the little girl from behind. Oh god, why is it always like that? He had three options, all are bad, but he went for the worst one. Why is he smiling this long? Why does the author think making him smile constantly makes him more feminine? I mean, a girl never smiled at me, so pretty sure that's bull. Anyway, they keep talking, so Inosuke looks up and lies on the floor. Wow, it looks like there's a snail escaping from his mouth. Tanjiro says he had a convulsion caused by the headbutt. Holy moly, we basically have Sherlock Holmes himself here. I don't want to imply anything, but which university did you get your degree, Dr. Boy? So the little girl asks him to pet, in Soviet Russia cute girls head pet the main character. How come? There's literally a huge scar on his forehead. Some time passes and Inosuke finally wakes up, still four-pack abs. Due to his instincts, he sport hunts a human. Dear God, poor girl. He finds everyone burying something. I guess they're burying a dog since they're all children. Inosuke replies he'll not help cuz animals are to be stuffed not to bury. Tanjiro says it's okay if he thinks that way, cuz he respects all cultures, even the weirdest ones, the disgusting ones, and the unimportant ones. I don't know how Japanese higher education works, but I'm sure Tanjiro would go to a private college. I know Inosuke is getting mad, but Tanjiro is going to save the world guys. Everyone's praying for the dead, for 18 different gods cuz Tanjiro doesn't want to disrespect any religion. What in the hell are you even doing Inosuke? That's probably what you're thinking. Pretty obvious, well, he's talking in Morse code with the birds. Pretty obvious you see? To be honest. I was really surprised when this crow appeared right after I wrote that line. Anyway, they head down the mountain, it's a difficult separation for Zenitsu, but these kids can't stay on the show, they don't have fancy kimonos. To show that they're not welcome, Tanjiro's crow vomits a drug bag in the hand of one of them. They continue their way down, then Inosuke accuses Tanjiro of stealing the animal he slaughtered. Tanjiro says this is a stick-up and will sell it to some industry use it as a power generator. They arrive at the place where they're gonna rest, why is he holding the crow like that? It even looks like a stuffed animal. Inosuke can't see a living thing moving without wanting to kill it. This old lady opens the door and invites them in. But this time Inosuke's instincts tell him it's not worth it. But Zenitsu finds her very suspicious, and proves him wrong. She offers clean clothes, a place to sleep, and free food, nothing suspicious. They accept the food and Inosuke starts eating like it's his first time eating cooked food. I'd say he eats like
like that cuz he's glad that he didn't have to hunt for this food, but he only hunts for sports, only pussies eat their prey. Bedtime, and here again the not at all suspicious old lady. Inosuke jumps on a futon doing a sexy pose, he doesn't want only his face to be considered beautiful. Now I see why he dyed his hair ends blue. Zenitsu even praises him but ends up having a pillow in the face. A doctor comes to examine them, I dunno, he kinda feels like a purr. They finally lie down to sleep and talk, they're about 16 years old, so they must be talking about how bad Sao is. Zenitsu complains about a smell, I mean, Inosuke mustn't wash that head since the boar's death. Anyway, Zenitsu also takes the courage to ask what's inside that box. He says it's unusual to see people playing around Pandora. Inside that box. Inside that box. There is. There is. Another box. Cool right? Can you not please? Just joking. There's actually my cute little sister. But he gets it all wrong and thinks that's Tanjiro's girlfriend. You know. Girlfriend and little sister sounds really alike. That makes Zenitsu upset to say the least. Even the resistors he uses as a nipple piercing has burned out. Nizuko is like, what's wrong with that yellow Kalua? Damn dude, you are crying cuz you think your friend got a girlfriend. I mean, I'd be crying too, but that's surely something bad. The episode ends and they go to a school anime. Here we got the cool one, the punk one, the virgin one, and it looks like they're censoring something from a hentai one. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe. I'd like to ask you to watch at least two videos of the channel in a row because it helps me a lot. Also make a friend watch this video too. Use violence if necessary. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Bye.